Hi guys, welcome to Water Lily Healing. Um, today we are going to talk about what kind of a week is this going to be, June 22nd until the 29th. Um, this is a timeless reading for a week and also this is a general reading so uh, not everything may resonate so whatever doesn't just leave behind. Um, we've got three pals today, also guys today we have a new moon. I've got a video about eight ways of manifesting with the new moon. I will link it in the description and in, in the end of this video. And if you're new here, subscribe, hit the bell, and let's start. Choose a pile. We have one, two, three. Take a deep breath, and let's start. Pile number one. Um, eight of wands. Six of swords. The chariot projection and I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness guys what I see for you here is uh, an insane movement forward like charging aggressively like nuts to butts charging screaming crazy movement maybe traveling because we've got like um, Eight of Wands is kind of like traveling, and we've got this boat here. The guy's moving away from like crappy stuff, so you'll be moving away from crappy stuff. And we've got the chariot, which is usually insane, charging forward, and it's all like transportation. And also, I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. Like, to get closer, it's also about movement, it's closing the gap between you and where you need, like want to end up. Uh, so I feel that this week will be really meaningful for you in progress in a lot of ways. And I feel like there is this uh, kind of a warning here, like don't go too fast, stay focused. Like stay in the speed where you can still control the chariot. Be careful. Like if you need all of a sudden to to kind of shift it or, or steer it somewhere, so you will be in a speed that will allow you to do that. And I feel like you're going to have a lot of like, th there will be like some confusion and options. Not confusion, but you will have some options and you will be asking yourselves, but you'll have like awesome movement. And if you will just stay focused on the movement and where you want to get, you will like completely get there. I think that like the beginning of the end and the end of the week will be completely different for you, but, like mentally and emotionally and spiritually. I think you'll get some interest in communication also. And I think that uh, like try and listen this week to, to what's being communicated to you. I feel like uh, Within your conversations with people, there will be like um, signs hidden. Like all of a sudden, you like uh, maybe you will be thinking like I want A or B or C, and then someone like you haven't spoke with for a while will call and say, I am considering doing B this week. Like stuff like that. Just like really listen carefully. <clears throat> I think it will help you a lot. And this seems like an awesome reading, guys. Yeah, so like towards the end of the week, you'll be much closer to your goals, to the place that you need to be at. And this looks awesome. Like you will make, this week you will make a progress that like will usually normally will take like uh, years maybe. And you'll do it within a few days, but in a very like calm and safe and with a lot sense of security kind of manner. That looks amazing, guys. So, again, I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. So don't get confused. Don't get tempted. Just stay focused on your journey. And everything will turn out awesome. And again, guys, today is the new moon. And I have a video about manifesting with the new moon. So this is an awesome week for you to manifest also. Because, like, everything is moving forward really quick uh, to your advantage. So I will link it in the in the end of the video. You're welcome to watch it. You go ahead and manifest, and I'm really glad for you. I'll like, share, and subscribe, and thank you for coming. And pile number two.
Page of Cups, Three of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Inwards. The universe works fast when I'm having fun. Guys, what I get for you here is, I think for some of you, like a small group here, you will uh, maybe meet two guys and like you, you won't be sure exactly with who you want to go with and it will create like a mini drama, something like that. And eventually uh, you like, you'll turn down the both of them. But I feel for most of you, you will be thinking this week about not your goal in life, but more in the sense of like job or a career or like what should I go and study and you will kind of be in this crossroads where you won't know if it's better to go with with something that is more lucrative and financially stable or something that is more aligned with your uh, spirituality or tendencies to art or you know, humanities uh, like something in along the lines of like i thought i want to be uh a poet or a healer or something more emotional based or maybe I should go and become a lawyer and it will make sure that I will have money and stability for the rest of my life and I think in the beginning of the week you will kind of you will freak yourself out like you will drive yourself insane like obsessing over it and going crazy and don't know what to do or what to choose but it will be like all you like there won't be any provocation from the external world or the universe to do this you will just kind of stress yourself and go crazy and i feel like towards the end of the week you will kind of you will get your answer but like at some point you will get tired of this and like you will just Either you will get tired of the freak out and the going insane and the obsessing or something will just happen that is more interesting or maybe you'll kind of be under the impression that you came to a conclusion and uh, you know what you want. But I feel like towards the end of the week you will get an answer and it will be completely different from the things you were asking about. Like it's not even on the table at the beginning of the week when you're freaking out. You, you don't even consider like what will end up being the answer. And I feel that as soon as you release the, the pressure in yourself and the freak out, everything will fall into place and it will be like really clear because I feel like the, the answer is already there, like the universe has prepared the answer and it's just waiting for you to quiet down all the craziness so it can like show it to you and as soon as you'll get to this place of peace and quiet and security within yourself, like just release it, release this topic and as soon as you honestly like disconnect from it emotionally and mentally, the answer will appear like uh, clear as, sun, uh, as sunlight. And uh, yeah, so this is your week. <laughs> I'm sorry that it's not so like uh, really optimistic and happy, but it's also like mental processes is also important. And it, it kind of feels nice. It feels like if you have the time and the energy to like freak out about, because it seems like you don't actually have a reason to freak out, you will do it to yourself, so that sounds kind of like funny and interesting and uh, I think you will get to an amazing place and I think like as soon as you see this process happening of you letting go and let the universe kind of lead you to the answer so it will make it a lot easier for you like in the future to let go of things that kind of stressing you or uh, freaking you out yeah and this is awesome and the universe works fast when I'm having fun so exactly guys that's exactly what I get here in the reading. Uh, thank you so much for coming. And again, um, today is the new moon and I've got a video about eight ways manifesting with the new moon. So I'll link it in the end of the video. Welcome to watch it. And good luck, guys. Thank you. If you liked it, like, share and subscribe and hit the bell. See you. Pal number three. None of Wands. King of Swords, Knight of Cups, Guilt, 
The healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers and a beautiful drawing of a tree. Guys, what I get for you here is that you've been carrying around like a really bad baggage of like either you were feeling guilty about something or someone kind of made you feel guilty like a manip manipulative person who really wanted to like gain a uh, higher ground on you morally so like the person always makes sure to be the victim even if it doesn't it's not exactly clear how he came to this position but also but always like this person is the victim you're always some kind of bully or something like that and you're in the point where you don't even understand how you got there or what you did to like create this and i feel that it's not a like it's not about you like even if you did something wrong your guilt is not proportional to the situation at all and i think you're getting kind of tired of this of the dynamic of feeling guilty of uh, i think like i don't know if it's specifically guilt because it can it can just mean a really shitty emotional baggage like sometimes we carry for years around some emotional baggage and like we don't even remember what happened and why but we get got this like I don't know like really and it's kind of heavy on our hearts and we carry it around and we let it uh, kind of play into our like situations in life and I think that you that you're tired of it and you became aware of it and this week you will be kind of approaching to it more analytically and from this place of like mind and analyze it and observe it without judgment and which will allow you to like work through it and heal maybe even with the help of a therapist or an analyst or a healer or like a friend who is who has a lot of life experience or very mature and ripe a father figure maybe and maybe it's just you maybe you just got sick of like dragging around all crap emotionally and you're working on it from a like logic standpoint which is also awesome and i feel towards the end of the week you will feel like kind of um, refreshed renewed like you you remove the baggage and maybe for some of you there will be like a new romantic offer but i feel for the most of you it kind of will be like a new emotional space like you get all this emotional energy that you invested in the scrappy whatever it was like all of a sudden you get to enjoy it and it frees up and you can like spend it in different ways like emotional resources just for you without the poison of the like best baggage kind of thing or maybe you will get a new uh, proposal or an offer or maybe just an opportunity i think maybe some kind of um, maybe even some kind of job offer that will kind of the job itself will kind of give you the sense of empowerment and security and stability that you needed in order to like uh, get your shit together and uh, throw away this like old crap that you don't need that just been so heavy and burdening you and again like uh, the oracle here true healing occurs when i give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers so i feel that you're moving from the place of like judging yourself and getting dragged and attached into this negative emotions and just like observe from the side and this time it will be in a way that will allow you to like become aware of the fact that this is irrelevant this is something from the past or something that to begin with wasn't yours and you just let this shit go yeah and there's like the knight of cups it's like a new energy new emotional energy and again maybe a romantic offer maybe a job offer maybe an opportunity maybe just this feeling of i am a new person without all the all this old crap and i'm like energetical and renewed and i'm ready to like take on the world so i think this is awesome guys uh thank you pile number three for coming and as i said in the two other piles today there is a new moon very powerful one and i've got a video about manifest eight, eight ways of manifesting with the new moon i will link it in the end of the video thank you so much for coming like share subscribe and hit the bell and i'll see you guys